Welcome back to Political Potluck! I'm Allison. I'm Julia. And I'm Claudia. And this is our fourth and final video of the series. Stop it! <laughs> today. Is it a surprise? I don't know. No, but uh, <laughs> we're just eating. Um, what are we eating? Claudia? So, oh my god, I'm gonna freaking murder that dog. <laughs> um, sorry, that's so wrong right now. Okay. I, how do I expect? I'm Cantonese. Well, I don't freaking know. Oh, so <laughs> <laughs> we're all eating foods from our cultures. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Some not like best friends. A lot of these aren't very authentic because we're lazy and didn't have time to make food like we planned. Yeah, but we tried, so that's all that counts, right? Yeah. So yeah. Um so you wanna start? Yeah. So my family is from Hong Kong. I was born here, but yeah, my family's from Hong Kong, so um a really common food from our culture is dim sum. Um, so we have an assortment of dim sum here. We have siu mai, ha gao, and xin jok gun. I don't know how to pronounce it in English. I don't know what, what the meaning is in English, but yeah. And then we have a little thing here, and it's pai pot to my lap, and <laughs> lam gua, which is like pork and pumpkin. So yeah, so that's my side. Alright, Claudia is fancy. Claudia is fancy. She's the most prepared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not prepared at all, and I was too tired to make real Russian food because I'm half Russian. And so I got these from Trader Joe's. <laughs> <laughs> and they're, I don't want to like mispronounce the name because it's very long, but it's pretty much like a crepe filled with like. It's supposed to be filled with sour cream, but this is obviously not sour cream. This is some type of cheese thing. And Can you try to pronounce the name? Yeah. Well, the shortened name is Linsit. Mm -hmm. I just feel like you say it. Yeah. But the full name is something that I don't want to mess up. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I was gonna bring Proshkis, but those are really hard to make. Proshkis? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the like way they sound them. though. Yeah. They're really good, but I don't yeah. have time. <laughs> Your turn now. Oh, and I brought cookies. Oh, yeah. I would make Russian them. cookies. No, no, no. This is normal cookies. Okay. Um, so I, my family is from Korea. So really bad representation because I got like the most like <laughs> commercialized <laughs> fast food thing that I could get. But I made some shinamen, you know, so that's A+. Plus. I also brought, um... Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah, I know, right? What is it? It's... Kakugi and kimchi, so pretty much like fermented cabbage and um, fermented radish cubes. Cool. They yeah. are a very important side dish in my life. Oh my gosh, wouldn't it be nice if we introduced ourselves in our, like, the language? Oh, mm -hmm. mine's just you, Leah. Like, it's, it's <laughs> not that cool. <laughs> what about, like, the hello part? Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant your name. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm anyway. deprived of culture. <laughs> We're not going to get into that. Like, my oh, yeah, you have to add in subtitles. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be more work. <laughs> Um, so we're going to start eating now and talking about getting involved politically. Yes. This is going to be the topic of our final video. Yes. <laughs> so how do you do that? <laughs> Should we put the laptop here then? Um, now that we like, hear this can we um, get the, like, our food first because I don't want to get it Yes, down. that's smart. So, so we're just this video is already all over the place. Oh, okay. Do you guys want to start off by saying just like things that you've learned from this, I guess, series while we're talking about so much? I was going to make a blog post about that. Check out our blog. Um, <laughs> I finally posted! <laughs> oh, thanks. Thank you. I'm ready. But yes. So. Oh, the smell of MSG. Yum. My favorite. Um, mm, what we've learned. Oh, I've learned a lot about oh, Claudia Lee. Lee. What? <laughs> What you learn? Yeah. I learned that I'm super lazy and I procrastinate all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I already knew that. <laughs> what else did I learn? Uh, I learned that um, I like food. <laughs> that um, I'm always late, so I say I'm going to be on time. 
one that Alice is also always like. This is not like actually like useful facts. I just yeah. um, I feel check like, out my blog post. So yeah, I actually yeah. have a real <laughs> intelligent thing to say. Yeah. I feel like a lot of what I've learned so far is like it can't be seen through the videos because a lot of it was behind the scenes or just during class in general when we were like working on it asking questions mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. to get like clear or information we asked our teacher a lot about like the nuances of our government as it is now yeah and that just like it influenced how we talked about the government in our videos i guess but it's hard to tell i think it's more like i'm it's not necessarily that i've learned much but it's more like i feel more confident talking yeah. about certain things mm -hmm. and more confident in my answers mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about you, Allison? Um, I think for me, just like, I was never like certain about a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Like you said, like I was very unsure. Like I knew in general, but I wasn't actually fully aware of what each thing meant or like what each yeah. price stood for or like the differences between different views. Mm -hmm. And so being able to like have this time to actually research it and talk about it and yeah. that was really helpful for me. Yeah, for sure.
women's rights and a more feminism politics. And yeah, there's just a group for everything and every concept that's being challenged today. Side note, in the first video, we mentioned um, the website vote411.org, and that's actually run by the League of Women. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, even though they do have a focus in more feminist rights, they are a nonpartisan group, and so therefore they're also a really good source to go to for information. Yeah, mm -hmm. So and there's like tons of organization that you can get involved in. And that's why the internet is amazing, because you can literally just look it up and see what's happening um, in your city, your town, and or just like your county, and you can go and, and get involved. What else? What else can you do to get involved? Well, here's something that me and Claudia actually did. <laughs> um, and it's, that would be to volunteer to work at a polling place on election day. Um, well, I did it because I'm not of age to vote yet. But it was really eye-opening just because um, seeing the voter turnout, even if it was just in one area, like there, a lot of people still showed up. And it surprised me that. What? The time is over? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah. All right. I mean, in recent years, um, our voter participation rates have been pretty low. So it was just really nice to see a bunch of people um, coming to vote adults, um, people who like just turned 18, people who are like, I don't know, who are just starting to vote. It was really nice to see them. Um, be encouraged to come. Yeah. yeah, and you also get to make money off of that. So true. And if you you can also do kind of what I did, I think kind of has to do with what we were talking about earlier. Is get involved with a certain campaign. Mm -hmm. um, and if like you have like a representative or a city councilman or somebody who's running or an issue that's um, on the ballot. Um, you can join um, a campaign to either like make phone calls or like reach out to people in the area who will be voting on those people or issues so that they're aware if you like are really um, strongly passionate about a certain um, what's the word? issue topic issue or policy no 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 it's a person. Person? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like someone who's a candidate. There we go. I'm really tired. <laughs> so, yeah. And then. Oh, sorry. Eli Torres. I swear to fucking God. <laughs> you text me every five minutes. No, you don't. But you text me at the best time. Yeah. And. Cut to here. <laughs> Hold on. Do you so, yes. Helping and, out. Yes, and then what's the most important one, ladies, that we should all be doing once we're of legal age? One, two, three, vote! Vote. <laughs> Actually, that is probably the easiest and best way to get involved. Really? Honestly. Just voting. Like, probably just like fill out some papers and then drive a little bit, show up, mm -hmm. stand in line. Yeah. It's you not do it by mail. It's not. Mm -hmm. It's not time. You can do it from the convenience of your own home. It's pretty easy. Okay, moving on. So let's say you don't want to actually like get a part of campaigns and be like super involved and all that stuff. You can still be politically involved simply by being educated about all the issues that are going around. Yeah. So I mean, right now mm -hmm. we're doing this project. We, I mean, we have, we've learned about civics and government. So if you already have a government class offered at school, obviously pay attention. I know some states actually don't offer a civics education and it's not required by their public schools to teach it, but we still uh, encourage you to do that. So if you don't have it offered at your school, research. research. There's so many sources and textbooks and stuff you can find at the library or something. And you can just read up on American history and civics. The internet is a very helpful tool. Internet, even easier. Um, check oh, the news. Yeah. Keep up to date with the current events. Um, read up on like different news sources. Mm -hmm. See different people's takes on events. Um, and you know, and then share your knowledge out into the world, like we are. <laughs> yeah. Like I 
did I did a current event on this recently. Yeah, I just did it today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's about this um, 17 year old, um, I think her name is pronounced Elena, Elena Cook in Rhode Island. Her and a bunch of other students and parents from other Rhode Island public schools are planning to file a federal lawsuit against the state because they did not prepare them for um, citizenship and that means they just didn't offer the classes and education at their schools. Mm -hmm. So um, whether or not that lawsuit is like becomes like, you know, successful or not, it still shows that some people are actually fighting for it and really want to have a civics education. So I just thought it was really cool that someone was willing to do that to fight for citizenship. Oh, so if you already get, I guess, like um, a civics education, don't take it for granted because, or even education in general. <laughs> this ran into a TED talk. Um, we know for real, like just learn from other people, learn about other people's political views. There's so much you can do, honestly. So yeah, be educated, mm -hmm. education, <laughs> stay in school. Okay, next one. Mm -hmm. So lastly, um, there are, there's just a different way to get involved other than voting, and that's just doing community outreach. So obviously, community outreach is um, just doing things for your community, for the benefit of your community. So one thing to do is to volunteer at like a, an organization, a nonprofit, or a shelter. Um, yeah, so many schools require like community service hours, and that's obviously one way to do community outreach, or you can do your own individual projects. Mm -hmm. I think another big thing is what's kind of disappointing a little bit is like people after high school stop volunteering, but I think it's a great way to become more involved in your community and learn about the people in your community. So, I would just say, always stay involved, and whether it's volunteering, um, working for an organization, just going around your city and learning about the people, just stay involved. Yeah. There you come. Why aren't you coming up? You can also simply donate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really, like, you don't have to actually get up and whatnot, just like donate to groups or organizations or institutions that you believe are fighting for the same things that you want. And through that, they can use that to help fund campaigns and to help fund candidates and to help fund different interests that you, that they also support. I love to hear. Hmm. So sweet. Mm -hmm. Are they not too I think I mean, I just didn't expect it to be sweet. Is it just like cream cheese? No. It reminds me of Ordo's. Yeah, it looks like Ordo's cheese. I don't know what it is. Probably should have read the box. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. Vegetables, mushroom, a lot of stuff. Mm. Oh, come on, buddy. Come on, little buddy. Thank you. I feel a lot sweeter than I should be. I'm kind of sad now. Because yeah. I was expecting it to not be so sweet. Mm -hmm. It's not like super sweet. It's just I didn't expect it to be sweet. Mm. Yeah. I think we just like covered everything. Mm -hmm. Like it doesn't take so many, like so much time to talk about how to get more involved in terms of like civics and citizenship. And uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know what else to say. Maybe you should do your own civics. 20% projects like Ooh. us, you know? Wow. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a, a video series. It can be like a photo shoot or just like a whole like grow your own um, garden. 
Yeah, grow your own garden in your house. Yeah. You should check out our what our clubs are doing. Maybe I'll put a link. Oh my gosh, yeah, let's put links. Blogs. Yeah. Our whole class is doing like their own civics project, so some of our friends are talking more about their cultures and showing food. Some of them are taking photos and um, putting them together to make a composite. Um, Others are talking about eating healthy and yeah. following their passions. And yeah, eating healthy. We're truly eating healthy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think this is our healthiest episode yet. Yeah. Um, I think the breakfast one was our <laughs> Yeah, I think the breakfast one was it though. It was a lot of carbs. That's true. But this is like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like maybe the In-N-Out was our healthiest one. No, mm -hmm. no. <laughs> this is going downhill really fast, but it's going downhill from the start. <laughs> That's my life right now. Um, what else? Allison, tell me about your day. It was a good day. I had a good day. I'm kind of sad that this is the last time we'll be eating this much. I know. And maybe we should continue this, but instead of filming it, just like eat. <laughs> Or we could just become a, a mukbang channel and not talk about politics, we'll just eat <laughs> and film it. I want to do that idea. Mm -hmm. Just get a mic. Yeah, ASMR. Mm -hmm. We're changing our channel now. We're doing ASMR. Mm -hmm. Just eat some of these so I don't have to take them home. Mm -hmm. yeah. Miss, I, think I don't think this is enough food. I'm actually I'm still hasn't even finished. finished. Okay, but I've eaten three bowls of this. So what you have? Yeah, man. I have not. Can you make me the more? Mm hmm. Wait, let me finish this actually. I kind of want more. I think you have more. Yeah, it requires me to like sit up. <laughs> what time is it? 7 by 4 p.m. So we've had like a solid at least 20 minutes mm -hmm. of film. I don't know if it's solid because I'm going to have to do quite a bit of editing with this one. Oh, we you're right. all over the place. I'm Let's see what you like. Do we sign off now before? Um, students that were the ones making the speeches that were 
calling for action, and that we're the ones expressing their political views. And that's just like one instance of how recently a lot of people our age have really taken the initiative to become a part politically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, our own school did um, one of those walkouts, and um, we had our own students um, make their own speeches, and we had our own little memorials. And I thought it was super cool because I never thought that I would go to a school that like would do that. Like I never anticipated that there would be an event where we would speak out our voices. Like so many people made their own posters and um, their own banners and yeah. stuff to like show that like we're gonna take a stand. And I'm really excited for what our generation has to offer now. But it is a little sad that it's come to this. Yeah. So. But I think it's... Sorry, there's like a hair in my mouth. Oh, that's okay. Okay. Um, also, like, more recently, like, politics has started to affect the youth. And so that's why they're starting to stand up for what they believe in, because we don't really have a voice, or we didn't before. Uh, and that's really hard when certain policies are affecting our daily lives, and we also and we don't have anybody who's speaking up for us, mm -hmm. and so we might as well start speaking for ourselves, which is really cool. And I like I became a part of March for Our Lives, and they're now doing a bunch of stuff just to like mm -hmm. encourage voting and different um, local. Ooh, I heard different local events, like uh, town halls and stuff, which is really cool. So yeah. Oh my god. You can do it now? Okay. It's, everything's, I'll hold the cookies. <laughs> I'll hold them. Wait, maybe we should sign off first. We should. Okay. And then we'll do it after. Well, and then we'll just do it. <laughs> Thank you for joining us this beautiful Sunday evening. It was kind of a really random place to leave off. Get involved! There's going to be links down below of a bunch of different stuff that you can get involved in. And... This is sweet. It is, it's sweeter than I, I thought it was going to be cheese. Yeah, I thought it was going to be cheese, but it's like sweet. It's almost like a dessert. Oh, yeah. It's not at all for mm -mm. <laughs> It's not for It's so mistaken. Oh! It's getting sweeter. Mm -hmm. Once you have the cheese in your bowl. Yeah, I'm kind of sad now. <laughs> oh well, okay, we're okay. signing off now. Thank you Thank for watching. You. We'll miss you. Go check out our last video. Oh my gosh, we're ruining my YouTubers. Yeah. It's going to be somewhere around here if I figure out how to do, that do it properly. Maybe I'll just, I don't know, it's here. Here? <laughs> yeah. Here? Um, or, subscribe. Click that button. Turn on your bell for notifications, <laughs> <laughs> even though we don't have any videos left. I mean, but we might. You never comment. We should do like workout. We should be like no workouts. A little workout. You know, to like Let's balance balance <laughs> out how much we eat. Yeah. Let's talk about. We might become Hillary Clinton's diet. And <laughs> we might become like regular YouTubers. I don't know. Maybe if one of these like pick up. If anything, it'd be this one because if we're like, we get dying. here's this, if we get 15 subscribers, we'll do another episode. Don't we have like eight already? Okay, fine. If we get 20 subscribers, no, 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 I don't need to up it. I'm just saying, like, do we have eight now? I don't know. Okay. I don't honestly remember how many subscribers. You know what? If we get over 100 views, if we get to where we can get monetized, then <laughs> damn, like a, a penny per video. A penny per video. <laughs> We love. Um, then yeah, okay, this intro turned really. Mm -hmm. Okay, like and subscribe, comment down below. Um, we have six subscribers. We love. We lost three. It's fine. No, I think we only had ever had six. But who yeah. are our subscribers? I want to know. Three of them are That's true. <laughs> and Tiger. And Tiger. So we know. Maybe, maybe not. The right. hater. <laughs> Well, thank you, whoever you are. We love. Um, I'm sorry I ate so much. Um, eh, whatever. Okay, I don't know how much of this I'm going to keep in. Well, thank you for watching. It was a pleasure. Yeah. Um, we're very full now, and we're going to keep eating once we turn the camera off. Yeah. Because there's cookies here, and food, and I haven't finished. 
But yeah, okay. Bye. Bye. This is our outro song. Yeah, yeah. Bye bye. Oh. <laughs>